The answer is, it depends. It depends on a huge range of contexts, quite apart from the technology that you're using. It depends on the students, on the teachers, on motivation, on interest, on task design, on access to resources. Uh, it also relates to issues like the wider socioeconomic situation, even the wider kind of political environment. Now that may sound a little bit strange, but let me give you a couple of concrete examples. If we take a technology like interactive whiteboards, um, there is in fact no research that shows that the use of interactive whiteboards in the classroom leads to better learning outcomes. That's quite uh, a shocking thing to say when you consider how much money has been invested in devices like these. Um, but the decision to put interactive whiteboards into many classrooms around the world, not just in English language teaching, but in mainstream schools, in primary, secondary schools, uh, was often motivated by political reasons. Governments or educational departments uh, wanting to look like they were supporting education. So by putting money into hardware, uh, one can show, if you like, the electorate that uh, money is being spent on education. But there is, in fact, no research that shows that just Having a board in your classroom leads to better learning outcomes. Perhaps that's not surprising, actually, because, of course, it's the teacher, it's the students, it's the learning task, it's what you do with them. Uh, of course, these devices can be used effectively and ineffectively. Let me give you another example. Let's take blogs. Blogs have been a very popular tool used by teachers and by students to improve writing, for example. And generally, the research is fairly positive on blogs. Um, they can support you know, students' awareness of audience, um, their connection to their audience. It allows students to read each other's work and comment and redraft and so on and so forth, a bit like wikis in that sense. Um, but at the same time, other research shows that it perhaps benefits students who are already good writers. Weaker students perhaps have less uh, benefit from these kinds of tools because it's not just the tool itself that's involved. Like all technologies, there is the wider context to take uh, into consideration. So overall, I would say that the research into learning technologies is uh, very much that the jury is still out. Uh, some learning technologies support some learning for some students in some contexts. But it's very difficult to be general about it and say that this technology always leads to learning for everybody.